Hello everyone, are you ready for the return of Thanos to the Marvel Universe? If so, I've got the details for you. Keep tuned. Thanos, the mad titan of the cosmos. His dark quest to rid the universe of the living have granted him the use of incredible weapons of great power. But now, Thanos seeks something more sinister than ever before. The Builders, the ancient and massively powerful alien race that has seeded life throughout the universe, have marked Earth for destruction. To save the world, the Avengers must join forces with some unlikely intergalactic allies and face the Builders in deep space, leaving the Earth vulnerable to Thanos and his Black Order. With the combined threat of Thanos and the Builders, the heroes of Earth are about to learn a harrowing truth. Nothing lasts forever. Infinity, a six-issue event series, Issue 1, on sale, August 2013. Thanks for pressing play. In this episode of Excalibur CCG TV, I am revealing the details of the new Infinity storyline that's going on in the Marvel Universe. Thanos has returned, and with him, he's brought some special characters and some special mayhem to unleash upon the Earth. Let's get right into what this series is about. It's a six-issue miniseries written by Jonathan Hickman, and we've got artists such as Jim Chung, Jerome Pena, and Dustin Weaver on board to draw the series, with issue number one being drawn by Jim Chung, fantastic artist. You've seen him all across the Marvel Universe. The story is set to unfold on two different fronts. Thanos is attacking Earth, and also the Avengers are confronting the builders that have been in the Avengers series and the main pro main antagonist that they've been fighting in that series as well. It's going to be a two-part story. Half of it's going to take place in the Marvel Universe. The other half takes place on Earth. The bigger scale story will draw in characters from the Marvel Universe with the Inhumans supposedly going to take a very prominent and vital role in the Marvel Universe after the Infinity Event. Thanos has been primed for a big breakout storyline for a while now, especially since the release of the Avengers movie. If you had a chance to watch through the credits, you saw his great cameo there. Also, he was hinted at as well in the free comic book day uh, Marvel comic uh, this year, 2013. On top of that, Thanos is not alone. He's bringing his own army with his own general, Corvus Glaive, and his allies to Earth as well. Allies such as Black Dwarf, Ebony Maw, Proxima Midnight and Supergiant, and these are brand new, never, bore, never before seen characters for the Marvel Universe. Now, we've seen that Thanos is going to have a general, his army, and, and allies as well. Will the Avengers, will Earth superheroes have an ally? Yeah, they will, but ally is probably too friendly a word to describe who they are since the last time these aliens showed up, they almost made a secret invasion of Earth. That's right, I am talking about the Scrolls are going to show up in the Marvel Universe again, and they will be the allies to the Avengers and to Earth's other superheroes. How they'll be helping out remains their mystery for the series, but it'll be interesting to see them back. Now, a lot of folks are concerned about, well, is this going to be just in the six-issue miniseries, or is it going to span the entire Marvel Universe? Well, it's going to tie into several other things. The, so the storyline itself is going to be similar to how they did Fear itself a couple of years ago. And the confirmed tie-ins to the Infinity storyline that we have right now include Captain Marvel, Avengers Assemble, Thunderbolt, Scarlet Spider, the Avengers title, and the new Avengers title. Now to break it down even more for you, the Avengers tie-ins will focus on the outer space story. And the new Avengers will be picking up with things that are going on on Earth. So if you just want to read about the space fighting or the space opera elements, you can just get the space opera issues. If you just want to get the stuff that concerns Thanos, him attacking Earth, you can just get the Thanos stuff. On top of that, there's going to be two mini-series that will be spinning off from the Infinity Event. First is Infinity the Hunt, which is a modern interpretation of the classic Marvel's Contest of Champions series that they used to do years ago. This is going to be written by Matt Kent with art by Steven Sanders, and it's going to focus on a contest with Earth's best and brightest young superheroes that are divided into teams. Those teams have coaches, and they are Wolverine, She-Hulk, and Dr. Hank Pym. The contest, the students will, it's going to include students from all various 
sorts of superhero schools all over the Marvel Universe on Earth. Of course, we're going to see characters from the Jean Grey, uh, the Jean Grey School that we see in Wolverine X-Men. There's going to be some characters from Wakanda and other parts of the Earth as well. Also, when the superheroes are away, what better time to plan a heist? That's right, in September, we're also going to see the new miniseries Infinity Heist written by Frank Thierry with art by Al Barrio Nuevo. This miniseries is going to focus on Iron Man's rogues galleries as they plan to steal the biggest score in the Marvel Universe, and that is none other than Stark Enterprises. The series is going to bring back and update a lot of the villains that make up Iron Man's rogues gallery, such as Spymaster, Blizzard, the Unicorn, and several more. And last but not least, we are going to see a new ongoing series stem from the events of Infinity, and I am talking about the new Mighty Avengers comic that's going to be hitting Luke Cage. Remember him? He used to be a big part of the Avengers, but then he decided to take a break from it all so he could focus on his wife and kid his family. Well, now he's being brought back because of the events of the Infinity, and that is going to cause him to be the leader of the new Mighty Avengers as they team up to fight against Thanos and what Thanos is trying to do to Earth. Cage will not be alone, though, because he's going to be joined by the Falcon, the Blue Marvel, Superior Spider-Man, She-Hulk, Ronan, and several others. This is going to be written by Al Ewing with art by Greg Land. We'll see if this team of Mighty Avengers is a match for Thanos, his army, and his allies. And don't forget, guys, now is the time to go ahead and add this series, its tie-ins, and the miniseries and new ongoing Mar Mighty Avengers series to your pull list so you don't miss out on the Marvel action coming from Infinity. Thanks for watching. Be sure and visit our website, www.excaliburccg.com. I'm Chris here at Excalibur Comics, Cars, and Games here in Shreveport, Louisiana. Thanks for pressing play. Have a good day.